this video is about uh, parabola and out of the parabola we are going to find a tangent and a, a normal if you don't know exactly what a parabola is you can think of uh let's say if you know a ds right so ds tv is that okay so the dish of a ds tv if you picture how the dish of that ds tv looks like it's look like something that that is somehow an over open open just like this shape this is something like uh, 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 a dish right so dstv dish so that is exactly how it looks like so we are going to call this shape what a parabola is that okay you may have a different different way either it open up or it opens or left and right is that okay we are not focusing on that all that matters here that we should know exactly how the parabola or what we call a, a parabola and then out of this one we are going to find a tangent and what and the normal is that okay now let's use this exam question to determine how we can find these two things uh, from the question we are giving about uh y y squared that is equal to to ref x right so we are calling this thing a parabola so given this parabola all that we are trying to say here is that this is a something uh, let's say let's call this one a direction or a formula or a definition that can take us to i uh, have that shape right so that shape of a parabola so this is the only way that uh, we can go not necessarily the only way but this is one way of getting uh, this shape and this is what we are giving to be called the parabola and then it passes through the point of uh, we are calling that point or three comma comma six right so this is the point that this line pass all right means that this curve here passes through uh, a joint a joint at the point of three six okay so that is one junction maybe let's say this is a route to your destination and then you pass it through a certain point before you get to your destination so that point is what uh, 3 comma 6 and then we have been asked to find the equations of uh, the tangent and uh, as well as uh, the normal out of these the information that we are having so let's see how to go about it now when you say a tangent all that matters is that if you look at this and this is a, a, a whiteboard marker right so you are able to identify this thing by its image so we are going to identify what we call a tangent as well as a normal by its image right so by according to their images uh, all I'm trying to say is that the definitions of a tangent from this information is uh, so the general equations of that tangent is what y and then y1 that is equal to 2a into bracket s and a plus of s1 and I was playing everything into details one by one so for you to be able to apply any formula or definition in mathematics you must know where these people are coming from is that okay so you must know each of what the variable so I call them what the players. Is that okay, so you must know each player, right? So what the role that they play in the definition. So you have to know, or you must know this definition. So whatever you see this thing relating to what a parabola. So this is what we call a tangent. Now let's see the 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 the, the, the what it means. So this is the general values of uh, any y that we can think of. So this guy can take us to the destination as well as this s is okay. All that we need here is uh, the y one and the word x two as well as uh, a, right? So that that's the only thing that we need at at uh, this point. So now in general, in general, if you have a parabola, so according to the question, this is what we are doing. So this is a parabola. So that's the y square is called so uh, to fs so this is a similar to the general so in general or the overall way of getting that parabola give us what y square is equal to 4 a x right so i start with what y square because from the question what have you told is what uh, y square is equal to uh, 12 x so the general the general way of writing that parabola will give us what y square that is equal to 4 a s so if you compare this thing to uh, uh the parabola being given to uh, which is what y square that is equal to 12 s this tells you that y square is already here right so the y square is already here similar to this this is y square and then we have another y square here and then x is here and then as well as x is also here right okay now you can see that this whole 12 here that is exactly equal to what 4 a 
so we want to determine the values of the a by comparing this thing to that so if you compare you can see that our 12 here is equal to 4a right so 4a so if that is equal to 4a if you want to determine the value of a you have to divide both sides by 4 meaning that a is equal to 12 divided by 4 which is equal to equal to 3 so the value of the a here is equal to 3 now that this x s s1 and the y1 are the points b given to us from the question right so the point here is a three comma out six so meaning that our first letter here is the x1 and then comma out y1 this means that x1 here is equal to three and then y1 is equal to equal to six that's the only thing that you need is that okay so these are the general way this y and the x here are the general way now that we find the uh, a here and then we know the x1 as well as uh, the y1 we are free to determine the tangent of uh, the equation that is very very simple and straightforward so the tangent of the equation or maybe the equations of the tangent here uh, will be equal to that is uh, from y uh, y1 equal to 2a into bracket s plus uh, x1 we know the y1 that is the general way so uh, y is the general uh, uh, method or straightforward so multiply by y1 so y1 that's what, what c is from the point given is equal to uh, here we have 2a so what is the a a here we have 2a so a is, uh, is 3 right a is equal to equal to 3 so a is equal to 3 and then everything here be multiplied by uh, the x plus uh, x1 so x1 x1 will be equal to 3 from the question right so x1 is equal to the 3 as you saw earlier on. okay so perfectly so yeah you just need to expand the uh, equation in the bracket and you have your sander okay this is exactly what i had after expanding the bracket so i arrive at 6y that is equal to 6s plus 18. for this thing we can reduce this equation so dividing both sides everywhere by 6 right you can see fat tax is everywhere so if I divide here by 6, I'm going to have y. That is equal to divide here by 6, give me more x, and then divide here by 6, that will give me more plus, or plus 3. So you may choose to send everything to the right-hand side of the equation. So when I send this guy to the right-hand side of the equation, that will give me more y. This guy tends to be more negative s, and then minus 3, everything is equal to 0. So this is exactly the equations of uh, the tangent. All right, now, now let, let's see how to find what... The normal right so let's determine the normal so all that matters here is that we just have to know this definition that this is what we call uh, the equations of a, a tangent relating to uh, a parabola and if you end the, end the video so far don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up uh, comment down below if you have any issue now so the second part of the question says that we should determine the uh, equations of the normal right to the parabola at the point p so that is, don't forget about that equation or expression mathematical definition so technically or behind the scene is that the general equations of the normal as compared to what uh, the tangent right so the tangent here this is the equations of the normal so you have y minus so, uh, y1 that is equal to uh, you have what y1 over what 2a into bracket x minus so uh, x1 right so as i said earlier we just have to know where everyone is coming from so the only thing that we are left uh we'll be leaving behind here is uh, the y and what uh, and the x so the y1 we already know the y1 as well as uh, the x1 and then we have our a as well so x1 and the y1 are just the point being given to you so this that point are uh three comma six right so these are the x1 and the y1 and then the a was uh, uh, three as we saw from what uh, the first part of uh, uh, the this question okay now, so you just need to move according to the definition but remember there's a negative here right so there's a negative in front of uh, this definition so meaning that you have y minus y1 that is equal to negative right so negative here and then y1 divided by 2a into bracket x minus s1 so we just replace the y1 by the 6 and the x1 by the 3 as well as the a by the 3 right so and then expand everything together and then we arrive at this point right so if you arrive at this point you are going to have a, so this is will cancel out so we have y minus of c here that was equal to uh negative right remember there's a negative in front of the definition so negative or integral this guy cancel out right so this guy cancel out so the c and the c cancel out so you are going to have uh 
x minus or minus 3. So here we are having what y minus 6. That is equal to uh, negative s. You have to expand with this bracket. So negative s plus 1 plus 3. So if you send everything to the right hand side of the equation, you are going to have y minus or minus 6 plus x, right? And then minus 3. So let's group equal to 0. Is that okay? So if you group everything, you are going to have what? y plus x and then minus 9. That is equal to 0. Equal to zero. This is exactly the equations of the normal from this type. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy or you gain some value from this video.